Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about soundproof curtains. Soundproof curtains are a, a thing that's in the literature and there's a couple terms that we have to define first before we really can take the next step. First off, there's really no such thing as soundproofing. This is a very common word, very uh, often misused and misapplied. So let's do a little defining here. There's really no such thing as soundproofing because you can't stop all the noise all the time. It would be cost prohibitive and you just simply uh, can't do it with current technologies that we have. Like I've said in past videos, I have built buildings with three walls of poured concrete, eight inches thick, with an airspace of six inches between each wall, and I still get bleed at low frequencies. So you have to be really careful with the terms here. So soundproof curtain, first off, there's gonna be no such thing. So we have to realize that there's gonna be no such thing as a soundproof curtain. So what are we gonna use the curtain for? We're gonna use the curtain as a barrier between us and some noise source. So the first thing that we have to do if we're gonna have a barrier and we're gonna use a curtain as a barrier is we're gonna to have to define the noise that we're trying to stop. Now curtains will work, they will help us manage sound, but without knowing how much noise and what frequency that noise is at, we don't know what kind of curtain to use. We don't know what kind of curtain to design for. So if we're gonna use the term soundproof curtain, we gotta know the frequency and the amplitude of the noise that we're dealing with. Okay, how do we do that? Well, we simply measure it. It's not hard to do. We have a seven day time study where you can do that and it's real easy. You can do it with an iPhone and we have the apps to help you with that. So frequency and amplitude, we have to measure. We like to measure over seven days with the quiet periods and the loud periods so we get an average. Okay, so if we're gonna use a curtain and we've measured our frequencies and let's say the, the numbers show us that our noise problem is above 200 cycles. So we're good then. We can use a curtain to manage the noise above 200 cycles. It won't be soundproof curtain, but it'll be a barrier technology that we can use to stop noise above 200 cycles. What do we need to do when we make this curtain or design and build this curtain? It's the same technology that we use in barriers for buildings. It's layers. It's layers of materials. It's layers of materials of different densities. And the order in which we arrange those layers is critical. If our noise source is here and our curtain is here, we have to have the greatest densities of materials first between source and us as the receiver. And then the other layers we stack against the highest density layer first. So it's all a series of layers to stop the amount of noise we have and at the frequency we're at. So soundproof curtain, just remember, there's really no such thing as soundproofing anything. And a soundproof curtain sometimes is like holding up a feather to stop a tornado. So we have to measure the noise, define the problem, come up with a solution that works, and then design the technology, in this case, a curtain, to uh, deal with the noise issues. And curtains are really only good for noise above 200 cycles. Anything below that, we have to use other technologies. So I hope that helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.